Question 22. Even if it is correct to say that we express and represent our thoughts in language, it may be a big mistake to suppose that there are structural similarities between what is doing the representing and what is represented. Robert Stallnaker, in his book Inquiry, suggests an analogy with the representation of numbers. The number 9 can be represented as 12 minus 3. But it does not follow that 12, 3, or subtraction are constituents of the number 9. We could compare a thought and its verbal expression with toothpaste and its expression from a tube. That the result of expressing toothpaste is a long, thin cylinder does not entail that toothpaste itself is long, thin, or cylindrical. Similarly, A thought might get expressed out loud in a statement with a particular linguistic structure. It does not follow that the thought itself has such a structure. Suppose, for example, that I look at a fruit bowl and think that there is an apple and an orange in that bowl. The object in front of my eyes includes some pieces of fruit and a bowl, but no object corresponding to the word and exists either in the world or in my visual image.